Let me show you how to embed a fast and responsive YouTube feed like this in just minutes on your WordPress website. This is by using the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To get started, visit smashballoon.com to purchase the plugin. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, inside your dashboard, hover over plugins and click on Add New Plugin. After that, click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, YouTube Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our first YouTube feed, we'll first have to activate the license key. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice YouTube Feed, hover over it like this and click on Settings. Next, beside License Key, go ahead and paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account, and then click Activate. Now you can see that our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our YouTube feed. On the left-hand side, under YouTube Feed, click on All Feeds. To get started with your first YouTube feed, click Add New. And for our first step, we'll have to select the feed type we want to create. With the plugin, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos matching a specific search term, and more below. For this video, I'm going to show you how to embed videos from your YouTube channel. This option is already selected for us, so we can go click on Next. Then we'll have to enter our YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click Add API Key, paste it here like this, and click Add. And for our next step, we'll have to connect our YouTube channel. You can do this by entering your channel handle, channel ID, or channel username. For this tutorial, let's create a feed of videos from the Smash Balloon YouTube channel. To do that, I can enter the Smash Balloon YouTube handle over here, just like that, and click Next. And for our final step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our YouTube feed. We have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, and more. For this demo, let's go with the cards template, so you can select it like this, and click Next. And in just a matter of minutes, we have a beautiful new YouTube feed inside the plugin. You can see a preview of it on the right hand side, and it's currently featuring all the latest videos and shorts from the Smash Balloon YouTube channel. This feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Feed Layout. Inside this menu, you can see different options to modify the layout of your YouTube feed. At the top, we have four different layouts we can select from. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which displays your YouTube videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the gallery layout, which displays your latest video at the top in a larger thumbnail, followed by the rest of the videos in a grid below. Next, we have the list layout, which displays your YouTube videos and shorts in a single column list. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through the videos on your feed like this. For this video, I'm going to stick with the grid layout. And if you look below, you can also specify how many columns you want inside the YouTube feed. Currently, we're displaying three columns, but if you wanted to change that, you can simply type in the number of columns you want to display. For example, if I wanted to display two columns, if I type it in, you can see that change made instantly inside the live preview. Our feed is now displaying two columns instead. I'll change it back to three. Underneath that, you can also choose how many videos you want to display inside the feed initially. Currently, we have nine videos inside the feed, but once again, if you want to modify that, you can type in the number of videos you want to display. For example, if I wanted to display four videos, I can type it in like this, and instantly you can see four videos inside the feed instead of nine. I'm going to change that back to nine, and if you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your YouTube feed, under the Customize tab, go into Color Scheme. You can see currently it's set to Inherit from Theme. This means that your YouTube feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with the Light theme, Dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed like this. But once you have a color palette you're happy with, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header at the top of your feed, under the Customize tab once again, go into Header. As you can see, we have two different header styles you can select from, the text and standard. The text style is a simple customizable text header which you can modify here, and above that is the standard style, which includes your channel profile picture, channel name, number of subscribers, and the channel bio as well. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, you can go and disable it at the top here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it enabled and in the standard header style. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you wanted to moderate the videos you display inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. Here you can add filters to moderate the videos you display inside the feed. At the top, you can specify words or hashtags as filters so that your feed will hide or display videos containing them. For example, if I wanted to hide the YouTube shorts inside my feed, you'll notice that all the shorts videos have hashtag shorts on them. So I can go ahead and write hashtag shorts as a blocked word like this, and the feed will automatically hide all the videos containing hashtag shorts. Underneath that, you can also choose to hide specific video IDs as well. With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the videos you display inside your feed. And if you've added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your YouTube feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To embed it, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, and click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, and click Add. 
now inside your WordPress webpage, you have two different options to embed your YouTube feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode you copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use a dedicated Feeds for YouTube block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your new YouTube feed directly on your WordPress webpage. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. Here we are now on our live WordPress webpage and right in the middle we have our brand new YouTube feed. This feed is currently featuring all the latest videos from the Smash Balloon YouTube channel. At the top of the feed, we have the header in the style we selected, which includes the channel name, profile picture, number of subscribers, and the bio. Underneath that, we have a grid of videos, which is the template and layout we selected. And inside each video, you can see the title, the channel name, and when that video was published. If a site visitor wants to check out any of these videos, they can click on it like this, and the video will automatically start playing inside a live box for you straight on your WordPress website. Underneath the video, you'll also notice that we have the description for the video. And on the right-hand side, we also have a subscribe button. If a site visitor clicks on that, that will take them directly to your YouTube channel with a prompt here asking them if they'd like to subscribe. This makes it super convenient to convert site visitors into YouTube channel subscribers. At the bottom of your feed, you also have a load more button. If you click on that, it will load additional videos at the bottom of your feed directly on your WordPress website. But if you want to learn how to embed it onto your sidebar or footer as a widget, let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've just created a second YouTube feed for the sidebar of our website. To embed this inside the sidebar, click on Embed, copy your shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click Add to a Widget. For this tutorial, let's embed our YouTube feed inside the main sidebar. To do that, we have the same two options as before. We can use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied, or alternatively, we can use our dedicated YouTube feed block. And just like with our web page, with this option, you can see a preview of your YouTube feed inside the sidebar. Now we can click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And once again, we're back on our WordPress web page, and right in the middle, we have that YouTube feed we created earlier and the cards template. But now on the right hand side, we have a second YouTube feed inside the sidebar. This feed is just as fast and responsive as the first one. It includes a subscribe to YouTube button right in the middle, our two latest videos, and right at the bottom, you can also click load more. So you now know how to create an embedded YouTube feed on your WordPress webpage and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.